Yeah, we're just back here again today, myself and Deputy Matty McGrath, um, uh, speaking with our legal advisors, trying to progress our possible challenge or in plenary summons to the uh, Local Government Act of Destruction, as I refer to it, which is seeking to abolish town and borough councils throughout the state. Contrary to the uh, 20th Amendment of the Constitution, now Article 28A, and to the European Charter on Local Self-Governance. Deputy McGrath will update you now as to where we're at. Well, I'm delighted as said to be here again today. We've had a pretty exhaustive meeting uh, with some council. Uh, we're meeting some other um, people in the afternoon and we are very uh, happy with the positive reaction we've got so far as regards the grounds for taking this challenge, be, uh, be it a judicial review or an plenary summons and the uh, European Charter which we have studied since and I hope to talk to some people in Europe as well um, is very explicit in how local government is meant to operate and uh, it's interesting uh, in the moves, uh, you know, in the talks and speculation that Minister Hogan may be going to Europe. This flies in the face of uh, what the European uh, Parliament and indeed Charter stand for. And I have been also discussing um, with some community uh, group and indeed groups and indeed um, the, the vehicle that was used all the way along with this local government act uh, in the name of public consultation and community consultation. In fact, there was none. So that leaves this act wide open to challenge as well because not only had to be passed by Parliament, but it also had to be a proper consultation process with the county councils, with the members, and local authorities, with the members, and indeed with local communities. And there was um, a consultation group body put together, but I don't believe they consulted with anybody. Specifically in relation to my own hometown of Clanmel, where there was a borough corporation, uh, the impact there will be that uh, an annual budget of 15.5 million, which was um, overseen by a dedicated 12-member uh, council, uh, that money was being spent in the borough of Clanmel, purely within the borough. Now, if you think that Clanmel, which was very grateful for hosting Flag Hill and Aaron, uh, on, on numerous occasions, benefit to the tune annually from that of about 7.5 million euros, this is twice that budget that's been forfeited and lost to the town of Clonmel uh, by virtue of this act. And could I just say, I uh, raised that as well, uh, Clonmel Borough Council is existing, one of the, one of the oldest in the country. And uh, the fact that there was a survey done last Sunday, I uh, looked at it in there by the business post by Michael Brennan, uh, where he compared, like, rated the different towns. We rate, for, Clonmel is rating a uh, fourth in the country. Kilkenny is now promoted to being a, a city, to city status, going to have a, a, a same a standing as Waterford and Limerick. While in fact Kilkenny is not a city as we know, it's merely an ecclesiastical city, similar to the village of Raffo in County Donegal. And inside this act, cleverly by somebody we know who, uh, has now promoted Kilkenny uh, to a greater status than what they had. I'm not anti Kilkenny. I am saying that we need to keep. Uh, local um, representatives on the ground representing the local community, control of their budgets, control of the county development plan, the town, of the town plans rather. And um, another issue I've here in my folder, a letter I back this morning, I replied to a PQ about an issue in Clonmel Town, um, Clonmel North, with hard water, and asking the minister, same minister actually, Minister Hogan, uh, to allow these people who have huge problems with hard water, hard drinking water, uh, allow them to uh, be exempt from the water charges. No, he's told me clearly it's not, if the water is fit to drink uh, by their standards. So um, that's going to be lost, that issue, in, a, in overall county structure. Like the borough of Clonmel, people can deal with that issue because it's, 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 it's peculiar to the town, not to the county. And it's just only one issue. There are dozens of other issues. And people don't realise, actually, uh, in Clonmel, until the uh, town hall doors are locked on the 25th of May this year and not open to the public any longer. Then they'll go looking for the local public reps and they won't be able to find them because many of them won't be living in the town or representing the town. They represent the municipal district, which is um, about 28, 29 miles long. 